We're here back at the Field Museum with Akiko, who is the fossil preparator. Yeah. And we are going to be working on some of the fish that we excavated from Wyoming. What's next? So what kind of tools and things are necessary to prepare a fossil? Like well, this? you're holding the basic tools called the pin vise. It's a pin vise holder with a cowboy needle right here. So essentially it's just like a fancy metal pick. Pretty much. So you have that. We yeah. have a high powered microscope Scope. that we have a light on so we can see the scales and the bones. And then you uh, scrape away the matrix away from the fossils. Then that's it. But yeah, basically. All right, I'm going to try my hand literally at this. I'm just afraid I'm going to like scratch away the whole thing. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, you can see fine. Here, if you, uh, if you start, follow this bone, right? Like a long bone. If you uh, push down the pedal, a little gentle airflow will come out from this hose and get rid of your matrix for you. Very gentle air coming out of your hose. If you keep on scraping mm -hmm. away a little tiny bit at a time, and then you can start to see like a brown, mm -hmm. and that's basically the bone. Oh, I can see it starting to come out. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> Have these techniques been used Historically, like how much has this changed from when people were preparing fossils a hundred years ago? I think it's basically the same. It hasn't changed that much? It hasn't really changed much. Um, maybe the microscope got much better. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think it hasn't changed that much? Well, it's, it's just a basic thing, you know? Like how much more, what sort of invention can you do to make change the hand tools. You know, basic idea is to have the point mm -hmm. and scratch the matrix away. This is a very weird noise. So what is this thing that I am now using? This is an air scribe micro jack number one. And why, why is it making that noise? Oh, it's just a, it's operated by high compressed air and then there's the hole on a tool that releases the air pressure as the needle vibrates. Oh, wow. And then that makes that weird noise. It's way more efficient than doing it by hand. But I also feel like I'm going to destroy the specimen. <laughs> if I continue, well, I no. just blew off its scale. I screwed it up. So we've got the total manual version mm -hmm. of this, which is just slow picking at the matrix. And you've got this crazy thing that makes my hand feel really weird and makes a funny noise, but this is like your mechanized miniature jackhammer. Yep. Pneumatic jackhammer. And then there's another way that you can also excavate a fossil. Sure. What's that? Air abrasive machine. An air abrasive machine. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah, you that can show might me be. Do it. You want to sit here? No, it's okay. That way you get like a year of what you could do. Keep on moving the nozzle so you, you know you not like poke the crater on it. Some parts of the uh, the matrix should be easy to remove, mm -hmm. and some parts of the matrix might be uh, more um, stubborn. Here. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright. This is the most mechanized way to prepare a fossil. What is this? Inside of a tank has this uh, fine powder, the dolomite powder. Yeah. Very fine powder. And this is blasting the powder onto the fossil. Yep. So and then knock the matrix away. Kind of like a miniature sand blaster. Oh, okay. I think this is a copper light. Oh, yeah. Fossilized <laughs> poop. All right. This is amazing. You can just like watch the whole tail coming out. Kind of like coloring book. You're just, <laughs> I mean, you're just kind of like slowly filling in all the spaces and looking at all the different parts. Also, I'm having a blast. 
<laughs> with this pneumatic machine. You get that pun? That was a joke. Ha ha. Get it? Oh man. I mean, it's just cool that we got to go to Wyoming and we got to be there in the field excavating these fossils and then bringing them all the way back here and then seeing all of the work that goes into yep. comparing. Like, we've probably been here for an hour and I've got, you know, a square inch of fossil work done. So it gives me a better appreciation for like the giant dinosaurs that are on display or even the rest of the fish. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Good job. Wow. You yeah. too. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It still has brains on it.